classes which cost a thousand dollars. They want to know, want me to talk to Nick Irochi, see if there's a contract they can have. So if you want to take the class, you're tied up with the fire department for a year or whatever. And they've asked people come take the class and then run. They're just here to get the class for nothing. So mm -hmm. you know they have them pay for it front if they stay for two years or reverse fund. Because they're having this problem and they don't want it. Alright, so I told my talk to the prosecutor. Okay. In the ambulance, they ain't don't want it no more. <laughs> it, <coughs> yeah. It's got some problems. So, I told him was, get it looked at. There's brake problems. The wiring, something's wrong with the wiring. Not everything's working. Not all lights are working. I don't know. And supposedly it's all under the box. Got to get to it to the bottom of the floor of the box. So, I told him to get a hold of somebody that works on those. So, you can get a fair estimate. And these brakes, I think that was all they told me. Would you show your maintenance? Yeah. See, they're, they're, they're wanting to add on to the building to get the other truck in. So they're thinking they won't have to do all that if you have to here. Yeah. Yeah. I'll better write it down for you so you can read it. Uh, so anyway, Jimmy Cole's supposed to get the price on the wiring and what the brakes would cost to get fixed, and then he's supposed to get back to me with it. Okay. What they want is a re first responder unit. Okay, they don't have to have any drug licenses or anything with this because they wouldn't be transporting nothing. Oh. Yeah. Uh -huh. See, we were paying for that for years. That was already on that in that contract. Yeah, sure. Wasn't? Yeah, yeah, we didn't add that on. That was in there. Okay. Well. And I don't know if that can be taken off or how that would work. We got the insurance company. But so, they, they've been paying for it. We've been paying for it, rather, for all they would basically want is they want to take the one pickup and just that we own, right? The township owns, or yeah, really one. Yeah, one of them is the fire departments. Uh, they want to put a small tank on it for an extra grass fire truck. Put a, a utility cap on it, where you got a door on the side. They want to just put in first responder, you know, air pack, something like that inside this truck. Instead of rolling out with that ambulance. Yes, they're getting quite a bit of <clears throat> harassment from some of the residents because they'll pull into an accident or in somewhere and the way it's set up right now they can't transport. So then, you know, the residents are getting excited because hey, there's an ambulance sitting in my driveway, but you can't take me to the hospital. Mm -hmm. Wait for another ambulance to come and it's becoming a problem. We can't transport. Well, we could transport if neither one of them would show up. Because the one night... Well, that's just it. Yeah, we had all this kind of set up, and I, I think Jason must not have followed through on it. No, because there's no paperwork. As far as the uh, billing of it. We was all the way to the billing end of it. And uh, I thought it kind of took care of it. Apparently it didn't. No, no, it's been done. I checked into that. Because we can't transport when we're under contract. No. Unless no. they don't show up, you know, neither, neither one of them. Then we could have. Yeah, I know what we're going to do because, like I said, one night they called Kingsville. They couldn't come. They were on a call for North Kingsville. Then they dispatched Pierpont. And they only had one guy. I don't they know couldn't run. Either. And 
end up getting Connie it out of here. I don't Actually, know. That happened a couple times. Yeah, I only heard it one time, but yeah. So I don't know. They're supposed to get that thing looked at, and then we'll go from there. So we get that stuff. Get all, make sure you got everything checked that needs fixed and whatever <clears> else. <throat> because that, some of that money was donated for that thing. Yeah. We got to be real careful what we do with it. Problem is, is we have no paramedics to actually run it. Is it full unit? And as far as I found out when I was at the meeting, I asked him, I said, any of you guys going to get this? No. So we'll never have it. Nobody wants to go to the school and get that right? No. I don't understand it. I mean, they probably don't have time to do it all, but uh, yeah. I understand it's, it's just uh, the volunteers just aren't there no more. I don't think. Uh, like, yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think we should be paying for a class if we don't have a first, first response unit. But good is it? Right. But, well, as hard as it is right now, because Kingsville's having trouble keeping the medics and everything else, I, it's actually have a first responders if they're there to go first thing we need to do is see how bad well are they going to be able to transport the equipment now they're getting all beat up <clears throat> yeah they're going to put shelves you know plenty of utility caps on the back of the truck where you got shelving just inside the door which they won't need much other than they want to keep oxygen on there in case somebody needs oxygen I told them to get all this stuff down and then on the meat, we'd have to, you know. Yeah, we can only do as much as what the want to do, you know. <clears throat> anyway, that's <clears throat> that's what I found out. Went to that. That was the simple. The condition 16. of the ambulance and the mileage on, I don't, I don't see why we wouldn't get our money back out of that. Let's look. Let's wait till they get prices, then we'll we'll figure out from there what we need to do with it. But I told them to make sure. I mean, if they're going to get that wiring check, there's somebody down, I don't know, towards Pittsburgh somewhere that works on these things. That's, that, yeah, what you need, what they, well, what they need to do is they have to go to somebody that's like, uh, works on the big buses, the coach yeah. buses and stuff, got all that wiring underneath. Somebody knows what to do with it. If you take it to anybody around here, they're not going to have an idea where that wire is going. They took it up to John Watson's and he just scratched it. <laughs> Yeah. He said it's just way too much. What exactly is it doing? Oh, it, there's no power. So the no no. wiring on that thing is wires everywhere. You know, yeah. for, there's no power in the inside. On this, uh, talking about putting on some extra help to plow snow, is that workman's comp? Is that going to give you a problem with these? <clears throat> people that you want to put on, these extra people. Mm -hmm. It shouldn't when you find out what kind of experience they have. Well, it seems though last summer, uh, workman's comp seemed to be a big drawback on hiring extra help at the cemetery. That you could only get volunteer help or the workman's comp, you didn't want to put anybody on to help out with the cemetery because uh, of the workman's comp. And I was here at the meeting when this was brought up, and this is what you said. Now, what, how come it's no problem now, but back when we wanted some help for the cemetery, it was a problem? Well, this is kind of like an emergency situation if you get put a snow out there. Well, I can understand that, but that's why I ask, you know. I, I would say it would be an emergency situation like what we had back in the... Uh, July 4th weekend when we had grass this high in the cemetery, I think that would be kind of an emergency situation when we had people coming over attending graves and they didn't like what they seen. I don't know why before it was an issue, but when we looked it up it was fine. That's why we had, had him come in. Now you plan on uh, next summer to maybe uh, get some extra help lined up to take care of that cemetery? Yeah, thinking about it. But I ain't hearing nothing about the you know, insurance, about trying to do a little cutting. What's the chance of maybe getting, some, you know, pulling the belt up a little bit and cutting first? The excavator thing isn't going to happen until the truck's paid for. 
if it does. That was just a thought. I don't know if we're going to do that or not. You know? Because if, yeah, our grader would be more important than. Well. I know we got to do ditching. The only thing with to mention with the excavator was to. We would get more use than just here with it. You know? Because we're, right. we're ditching with an excavator, we can ditch faster. If we can get a truck from Sheffield or a truck from Kingsville, and then we trade now on equipment. If these guys, this would all contingent on us working with them. I've already been to their meetings and talked to these guys a little bit. If they would want to be on board to work with us on ditching, if our grader would go down or we'd need something, this would be where we'd be able to get their stuff to do our work if we had to in the same thing. I don't understand why you need to have these outside townships come in to help you guys ditch. It's, I mean, this township was run with one guy before, and they it's get not that. through the trustees. It's not that. It's we're working with them. You know, they need us as much as we need them. We have more guys working for the township now than it's ever been. It's been a long time since these ditches have been done right. Three quarters of this township is a mess. I've been out there, I've seen it. The ditches are higher than the road. There's, there's, there's some that has no ditches, right? Yeah, I know. And, and that's why we're having road trouble, because there's no ditches. That road's been there a long time with no ditch. Yeah, I know. This didn't happen overnight. No, but I'm just saying, these roads, these roads have been there a long time with no ditches, and they're still there. Yeah, the ditches <laughs> should have been done a long time ago. They've just been let go and let go and let go. And that's why we're having a lot of road troubles and spots. There's a lot of those ditches out there you can do with a grader. Yeah, I know there is. This is nothing we were planning on, we had to do. It's just a suggestion. Right, let's get back to the insurance. Yeah. What's we got one more meeting, one thing here, left. you know, this is it. This is you guys' campaign. Yours and John's campaign promise. Yeah. Ed's campaign promise is that he was going to retire and he would be here all the time for the township. And well, here it is, he's down close to the end of his term and he still ain't retired. There was reasons. It just didn't work. I stayed on the insurance. Saved you a lot of money there. I could get on it now, but I'm not. I'm working my until I'm 66, and I'm going to get off with it. I understand there's other circumstances, but, but as far as this insurance, and, this insurance, there shouldn't be no. By the time I figured out it didn't work, it was too late. I was already voted, and I just couldn't quit. So I had to do what I had to do, and I thought I did what was best for the township. I stayed working. Stayed off of your health insurance, which would have cost you probably thirty-five or whatever thousand a year. But that was a reason for that, and there was other circumstances that happened. But it was after I got voted in, and I couldn't change it. So, right. just to let you know. And I know, and I know, I know what kind of guy you are, and I understand that. Now, was it or was it not in you guys' campaign, John Griggs? Yeah, I campaigned about the insurance, but that was when there was all, you know, Chuck was on it. Yeah. You know, I, whenever you were campaigning and you were coming in, you were doing, you were, this is your campaign and you were going to change this. The thing we have to do is we either have to look into other insurance. You've had a year to do it, Roger. Yeah, well, I haven't taken time to worry about that. I have a lot of other issues on the plate at the time. Cut and costs. Yes. You want we have things, cut costs. you need you need things, you gotta cut costs. That's what getting rid of some of this stuff is that we've been putting money into over the years is leaving. The insurance. You need to cut that cost. It's gotta be cut. I mean, for the good of the community, for the good of the township, that thing that's gotta get cut. It's been doing nothing but going up and up and up and up. And the taxpayers out here in Monroe Township is paying that. It's all going on the taxpayers. You do have that. Yeah. Yeah, I had the hospital send me over. That's the one you wanted. It was the I, want, one, I want the one from the hospital and one that you wrote up. You have the one that you wrote up? No, Dave, the hospital? Was, Dave was supposed to write one up. I'm not supposed to. I, I filled out paperwork at the hospital, yeah. I filled out the actual report. 
at the hospital. That's the report I What I want to do is I want the two, two to where I can match them up to see you. That's all right, well, stop down or I'll meet up with you and I'll show it to you. This, right? just, this has been two weeks. I am stopped down again. <laughs> stop my house. I'll have that for you. It was mailed to me. I didn't bring it with me tonight. Okay, I'll Okay, I called the hospital. I wanted a copy of it because I, we need it on file anyway. I got it for you. I'll show it Already. to you. Just forgot it. I was going to actually make copies of it to give you. That's no, no problem. So you can read it. A little while back there, we had a meeting with the referrers on that slide of stuff with Cytomac when we bought that stuff. That they didn't want nothing to do with Monroe Township. They wasn't going to sell us nothing or anything like that again. You guys didn't let me listen with Cytomac already. They sold us a bunch of slag out there we can't use for the township because it's contaminated. Now you want to buy limestone and crushed concrete off of them and mix it to put on the roads? Yeah, it's all different stuff. It's all coming from the dock. The limestone. What's it, what's it costing for a truckload to be delivered? Because basically yeah, you you're, you're handling that stuff twice, that limestone, when you can run right down to the dock and get it yourself. We, we're we getting charged. For what the trucking costs, we can't waste time paying yeah. their wages and fuel. and fuel and their time to run down there and get it when we're doing other things. You hmm. can't. It's not feasible. So you're saying it's, it's easy for them to truck it from the docks to Cymac, then Cymac to here. No, 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 they're bringing it straight here when they get it. Okay, we're still paying the trucking fee. Okay, now, we're already paying for the wages for these guys to drive trucks. All we're going to be paying for is fuel to drive 12 miles to town to get the stone. It still costs you the same whether we pay these guys. Yeah. If we're doing yeah. other yeah. things, yeah. If we're yeah, not all doing the, anything. All the townships do that. They, but anyway, yeah, the point was, stuff. is... We wasn't supposed to be doing any more dealing with uh, Cymac because Cymac said that they want nothing to do with Monroe, that he was no, pulling the cemetery plot. No. They never said that. No. They wrote that the letter the off here, a meeting right after his farge. I heard him read that letter off. That was from the farge. No. He said Joe yes, Cymac didn't want nothing to do with Monroe. That, no. Chris read that. Well, that was the case. He delivered what they and delivered. And he did not, they were going to pull the cemetery things. Because they're tired of their Monroe. No, that was. And you guys are still dealing with the sign map that sold us the material that we can't even use on the roads because they're contaminated. Lafarge. They should be taking that material back and swapping it for good material to put on these roads. Lafarge said they. The cars didn't get the bid. I know. But the cars didn't said get the bid. Sign Mac got the bid. Wow. Simac trucking got the bid. Leave for Farge out of it. They yeah, sold it to Simac, and Simac, Simac's the one that got the bid. They're the ones that sold us the material that we can't use. Simac still wants to deal with us, and as long as they're cheapest, we can buy from them. They ought to be taking care of this problem that we got now. Okay, what's this other question you got on there? The other question is, is who's spreading the, the cinders on the road there, Rick? On Reader Road. For the last little bit of snow that we got. Dave did the last day. There was enough on that road there to do about seven roads. Yeah, Dave was the one that spread you, the last time. The township, the county and the state, they only spread in certain areas, you know. They don't spread the whole road that twice. Morning, <laughs> that morning it was icy. I told Dave to make sure he got enough down so it was safe for the residents to drive on. Because there was a few roads and that were icy. They need to slow down. Like the he, John Griggs said that the county's cutting back on the salt and stuff on the road. We ain't got the money, so we need to be cutting back because we got wasted material out there that we can't even use. When wow. you had this ice condition these last couple of storms you had, they said that uh, forced to treat the whole road. There was enough on that road to do a couple roads of what he did. He made two paths both ways. That was enough on that road to do four roads. 
At least. Well, if you slid through the stop sign, you'd be complaining about there wasn't enough there. Well, the county cut Common back sense, slow the, down. Uh, the county cut back because of the salt. They couldn't get the salt. Yeah. Not well, because of... They cut back because of the price of the salt. Right. Because yeah, it went through the road. The cost. Yeah, yeah the price of the material that we're using has nothing to do with salt what the county's is, paying for salt. Salt is double, I heard. Sure. It's still cutting the cost. Sure. When you start spending that much on the road, you're going to be looking for more material to finish off the year. It was icy that morning, and I told him to make sure. I know, I've been safe. everywhere. I, I know. You know I've been up and down these roads all the time. And I told him to make sure he got enough on to make it safe. All you need is the intersection, so. a little bit in front of each house, that's it, not the whole road. Well, I thought, it, I thought it was icy that where it needed to be done. Besides, we do what we think is best. If it needs the whole thing done, then they do it. Yeah. Twice? Well, if it needs done twice, then they do it twice. They have overnight anyways. Yeah. No second. All in favor? Aye. Aye.